everybody and welcome to this last final of the Clash of the Clan tournament. So, as I told you in my previous video, um, a new unit has beaten LVA1 in the final, but as LVA1 hasn't or didn't lose a single match in the tournament, they had a second chance to uh, reclaim uh, to, to well to, to win this final. So a second match has been played between no unit and LVA. We are on Beast 20, it's a 3v3, 5,500 points to achieve in economy mode. We've got on the southern side playing NATO, the LVA team represented by Kutu, Delta and myself. And on the northern side we've got on Foxtrot and Alpha, the packed team uh, represented by the no units, Van der Veenhold, Binks and Shifu. So in terms of units deployed we've got uh, the somewhat classic thing on the NATO side, we've got, uh, well, not really classic because there's a whole lot of heavy tanks, 4 Leopards 2A4, defended by 8 Leopards 1A1s that are going to be the, 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 the shield, the meat shield of the Leopards. And in front of that, 8 Fuchs that will probably rush into the city to try to take it from the packed players. And all that supported by a few AH1S Cobras, which are pretty nice. Um... And of course, one commander, two flak panzer, and two a mix AUF ones artillery try will that will try to snipe or to hit the enemy blobs if there are any. So that's Delta. Then we have a second player called Two that will go more in the middle of the map. He's got uh, four Vabs, Vizels, and Saracen with a couple of Jupiters. Jupiters coming in the middle of the map attacking Charlie, and all the rest of his army is going for the city and the Kilo sector. He's got a few VABs, a few Fuchs, more the ones, more the VTS ones, Zippo, Flag Panzer, quite the usual units you would see. Commander defended by Vabs, Flag Panzers, and Vizels, and he's the core of his army with one Leopard 2A4, two mx 30 bs Chaparral, Flag Panzer, Bradley, more the VTS one, and Sage as Recon. He also has two helicopters, Gazelle Cannon and a Puma going in on the right side of the map. Uh, as for me, I've got uh, four Gazelle Cannons, four Cobras going right in the middle over here to this city and over here. And my main attack force to take Bravo Hotel, sorry, and the city. We've got eight VABs, rank four with Chasseur in them. We've got AML 90 Lanks, we've got Mardo Ones. And uh, right behind them, we've got M900, 901 Itos, two of them with recon units with them. We've got a few, a couple of Mordor Roland 2s as anti air with HEMTTs, and, oh, I also forgot, three mort American mortars to support all that. On the packed side, we've got something much more uh, oriented on light units. We've got a lot, a lot of BTRs over here, Flame PZ, B a lot of BMPs, 1Ds, which are the ones with the uh, grenade launcher. For those who don't know, if you take them with the motorcycle chief, for example, you have a whole lot of them. You've got ATGM within the BTR, you've got Zalos, you've got uh, a couple of TATs over here, and SU 132 55 and one Buratino to support. A few infantry squads going in on the left here to take on the city. One commander going in the middle, a uh, few more units over here. A lot of tanks, T64A, 55, BMP1D, that's quite a nice balanced force. We've got Osei AKM as uh, anti air. And over here, once more, a lot, a lot, a lot of light vehicles, Zalo, BTR, empty BTRs. Uh, infantry, Osei AKM, BMD1Ds, SU122. I'm not going to zoom in because we can't see a damn thing. T55 AM and 3 T80s. Uh, regarding the commanders, we've got one commander over here going for Hotel, one commander here for Kilo, one commander for India and Bravo if Delta can cap it, and one uh, left on Juliet, so that's one, two, three, four commanders for the NATO players, and one, two, three, four, that's it, four commanders for the packed players also. So here we go for this game. We have, of course, the NATO players arriving first on the city on Hotel. Same thing on the left thing on the left, left side on Bravo. We've got the packed players arriving first, and NATO coming in to try to uh, harass the packed army. Same over here, packed trying to take out the NATO city. We've got uh, Gazelle cannons coming in here trying to defend the city from infantry rushes. Uh, not sure they will be able to stop uh, six vehicles, but we'll see. Chasseur coming in, and it will be uh, put into the different buildings as fast as I could do it. 
uh, yep, and uh, Lynx are the ones just positioned just below the, the, the cliff here to uh, attack as soon as they could. The, the cabras are put just behind the forest here and ready to take off and harass the enemy forces as soon as they arrive, which is probably just now. See, I just lift the cobras up and just try start harassing the enemy forces with the rockets and that deals quite a lot of damage and especially moral damage the osi came is dealing some damage against my cobras that's pretty bad news one cobra is down and the uh, m901 just uh, takes a hit for the other cobras <laughs> that's yeah funny back in the middle of the map so we've got nato versus pact over here the pact player seems to take it seems uh, that has arrived a bit earlier in the city has bmp one ds going to harass the chasseur and the fuch and the Jaegers, I think, I can't see it that thing because the Jaegers have been killed. Sappers, the sumo are here. A lot of tanks supporting over here. NATO player will probably get overrun over here. A lot of infantry squads coming in for the commander and Kilo. Hopefully, the Vizels, Vabs, and Chester will stop this attack. Over here, we've got the same thing. Va uh, NATO player charging into the forest and will try to take out the commander. Over here, big, big, big battle. We've got the Cobra supporting the ground force. Ground force with the eight Leopards 1A1 and two Leopards 2A4. Yeah, I know sometimes I say Leopards, sometimes I say Leopards. It depends. English style, German style. <laughs> on the left side here, we've got the packed players that have taken control of the city. Whereas on the white, right, on the white, on the right side, it's more the packed players also that are taking control of the city where the NATO players should have done that. Over here, bmp one is moving forward. The ML-90 are doing what they can to stop the offensive. The mortars are shooting once more against the enemy forces. Vaps are trying to harass a bit. And the Model 1s and ML-90 lengths are trying to, are waiting for the enemy to come closer and attack, uh, sneak attack <laughs> and destroy them as they can. The commander is moving forward, trying to cap hotel. He's hiding in the bushes here, but that is not capping hotel. He's going to have to move forward a bit. He is, uh, for now, defended by two Flak Panzers, a Gepard, a Flak Panzer, Gepard, A1. Mortars still shooting at the enemy army. The rockets from the helicopters are still harassing the enemy, which is quite good. The entire army is starting to rout, and that's really, really nice. These arrows, the AKMs, the TATs are pulled back and the packed player is pulling back onto golf. So for now, if the commander is pulled, pushed forward, the hotel sector will be secured by the NATO players and the packed player will pull back. So that's pretty nice for now. Killer is still under fight. Motorcell Kia, Motorcell Shi against Vizel and Chasseur. Normally, the NATO player should be able to, to control the fight over here. And units are sent in on the left side here to try to stop the packed tanks that are coming in. The, the Leopard is going to try to hold everything by himself, supported by a few Model 1s and Model VTS 1s. Back over here, the Leopards are getting shot at by the infantry in the city. Over here, Leopards are still holding. This is the main advantage Delta has for now over his opponents. He's got four really, really heavy tanks. The best tanks you can have, uh, well, I think the best tanks you can have on the NATO side. And you've got only one ATGM here capable of stopping them. Even the TATs aren't strong enough. They are basic heavy tanks, whereas these are really elite heavy tanks. It's going to be pretty, pretty hard for the packed player to stop them uh, if he runs out of ATGMs, which is the case right now. He is now empty. And the ATGM will just go into the, uh, into the stratosphere if it stops one day. And up and up it goes. Oh, it didn't even stop. That ATGM has a lot of fuel. Buratino shooting at the enemy position. The Leopards hopefully have just pulled back. Over here, the three Leopards on three Leopard 1 only are left to defend the uh, Leopard 2. Over here, the packed players have taken control of the city. And the, Gaz the Sege, not the Gazelle, the Sege is trying to move forward and take out a few units. Unfortunately, it is being attacked by a couple of BTRs with infantry in them. So for now, the packed player over here, so Delta, has very few units compared to his opponent, but he's got elite units. He may be able, if he plays well, to hold and take Bravo uh, quite soon. 
in the middle of the map. Well, the pack player has totally con has total control of the city. Unfortunately for him, he's got only a few infantry squads left, so he won't be able really to use it at full potential. The NATO players will just be able to go around the city to attack the enemy position. Back on the right side, it's still a big, big, big battle between NATO and Pact. Lanks and Mother Ones are moving upwards, trying to take out the T-80. T-80 taking some hits on its flank by the uh, Lanx. AP4 against Armor 4 on the flank, of course, that's, that, that works. And for now, well, it's pretty tense. Uh, the NATO player, I have taken control of Hotel, so I can call in reinforcements. Even if the pack player has still some VPs to do in here, I've got the Vibes coming in, and they will just disembark one day or the, or the other to recon take control of the city. And, and, and well, it's now um, pretty, pretty tense. There are still three T-80s present over here. The only units that can take them out are still on the left side of the city, so they aren't, they aren't well positioned. They should come back here. So you can see one M, a 901 I told coming back on the hotel to try to snipe the T-80s. Gazelles moving forward. Unfortunately, one Osa AKM is in range to defend the T-80 against the Gazelles, and the Osa will deal a lot of damage to the Gazelles. One is down, three of them are left, and they will have to pull back quickly if they don't want to get slaughtered to death. Hopefully, the Osa isn't that precise, that accurate, and uh, the uh, Gazelles are still three alive while pulling back. Mortars still shooting, trying to take out some infantry squads that are below the hill back on the left side. We've got the AUF still shelling in the city that is heavily controlled by the packed players. Leopard 1A1 and Leopard 2A4s are still harassing the city and the enemy troops. And it's going to be pretty, pretty tough. Back to speed, normal speed. I was commenting, commentating the, the game in 0.5. Over here, Motoselki trying to take out the Leopard 2A4. Will he do it? 3 HPs left, and the rocket is out, uh, but only 2 HPs are taken out. Kutu was really, really lucky on this one. Well, it's just mathematic. I mean, it's, he could take out only 2 HPs, but uh, he has to pull back his little Leopard to, to repair it. If not, he's going to lose it. Back in Kilo, we've got the commander pulling back. There is a BMP-1D menace over here. Even if they are nearly out of uh, grenades, they have still their main gun. And not much here to stop them. We've got two uh, enemy study B coming in to stop them and the shots are pulling back. Not sure it's going to be enough. Let's hope it is two more. The ones are coming in also to defend the commander. Commander who is pulling back to avoid getting killed stupidly. Uh, back on the left side, we've got still the Bratino shooting. We've got some Mosulke trying to take out the commander from behind. Commander who has left India to take control of Bravo. So now the pack, the NATO players, sorry, uh, have a nice strategic advantage with both um, Hotel and Bravo controlled. So they have both the reinforcement sectors. So that's pretty, uh, that's a small, a nice advantage, especially on the left side where the packed players have all this route to uh, take to send in reinforcements. But in terms of uh, reinforcement points, we've got a small model one coming in over here. But we've got basically four, six, seven, and three when the commander will co come back. Ten, ten points against four, six, eight, nine, ten against nine. So NATO, the packed players have a small economic advantage, while the NATO players have a small map control and strategic advantage, if I may say. Back over here, the Marder ones and the ML Lynx are pushing forward to try to put some pressure. The uh, M9901 ITOs are pushing, trying to take out the T-80s. One T-80 has already been killed here by an ATGM vehicle. The other one is probably going to get killed. One ATGM right in the front armor, only one HP left. That's lucky for the T-80 that isn't killed. And one, the M901 is being shot at by the T-80 and it is pulling back try to avoid to get killed. So one offensive here, a few tanks killed over here, one SU killed, one T-80 killed right over, no that's not it. I'm sure I'm kill I killed one, that's me. Yeah, here it is. One T-80 killed here, one T-80 nearly killed here. But it's getting out and alive just, just, just in time. And my gazelle is being shot. The M9 is moving forward a bit too far. It got lucky on this one. 
and it is in flames but still pulling back. So back on Hotel we still have this tight situation. The Chasseurs are going to attack the Pesadur here to retake control of the city. Uh, not much of the, of the packed forces are left but on the NATO side it's the same thing even if they have a small advantage with the Chasseurs they can pretty much defend the Hotel and with the M901 they can snipe enemy tanks even if they are a bit too close from the cliff here they can do some damage over here the Leopard 2A4 has been repaired a bit at least and is holding the ground against the packed forces over here the BMP1 these have been killed these two more V are getting slaughtered and the NATO player is retaking control of Kilo and once this uh, unit is killed it will be pretty much a status quo uh, in the middle of the map back on the left side NATO players are still controlling the sector uh, with the commander but the packed players oh one Leopard 2A4 is sniped by, by the concourse nice shot here by the ATGM unit and I can assure you that has made Beth Delta rage a bit so it's a big 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 fight for now the VAPs are trying to attack unfortunately the uh, mass of uh, grenade launchers is just slaughtering the, the, the poor chasseur who won't be able to deal any damage back on the packed side the packed players have lost quite a few units one TAT is in the bad position over here be getting repaired and they are sending in light units to compensate for their losses so a lot of ATGM UAZ faggots T55 AM so for now um, it's still pretty much a NATO advantage uh, Map control wise, unit wise it's quite difficult to tell, we've got ATGM and infantry versus tanks and ATGM uh, But we still have the support of Kroot over here with one Leopard 2A4 And back here we've got one Valorize, uh, Valorize. we've got uh, Recon coming in So it's pretty much uh, difficult to tell In terms of points accumulated we've got the packed players that are ahead Of course they are earning one point more which isn't much but it's still one point more uh, the NATO players are spending a bit more to try to hold and replenish their rank their, their ranks so they may have lost a bit more units so more harassment here one VAB coming in trying to kill the BRDM to you uh, will it be able to kill it maybe not but the commander doesn't seem to react 5 HP killed 6 come on come on you can make it 7 Looks like the BRDM to you will get out of it just in time, which is a shame. Back on hotel, so there's still the status quo between the two players. No one is really attacking. One chasseur has just decided to go out of the city. We don't know. We don't really know why. So back on the left side, we've got uh, Delta rearranging his units, sending a Leopard and a Sage over here to try to put some pressure on the enemy's flank. Unfortunately, two T-80s are ready to defend over here, and one UAZ-469 Fagot is sent in also to uh, defend. It's going to be pretty hard to attack. So uh, Delta has lost two Leopards to A4, has lost all, all his Leopard 1s. It's pretty, pretty... Uh, Bad, but he is still holding the sector. Uh, he's got his commanders, he's got anti air, he's got still a few heavy tanks to hold. Back in the middle is still nothing to declare. Charlie and Kilo are, are held by their respective uh, players, and no real offensive is taking place in this area. One commander sent into Gulf to earn more points. So for now, it's pretty much tense between the two teams, and nothing can really say who is going to win uh, between the two players, the two teams. I'm going to speed things up a bit. We've got one Leopard 2A4 here that has been called by myself. Cobra is coming in to stop the infantry, well, just the transports, uh, while the anti-air is too far away to react. Sagiok is coming in. The ATGM squad destroyed, that's pretty nice for the Leopard. The OSI game is moving forward, so the Cobras are moving backwards, that's pretty logical. One Recon sent in on the right side, over here, the Gazakamon coming in trying to, to kill what is left of the commander, unfortunately, they are unlucky and are get sh getting shot at by the BTRs. And the Gazelle is routing, too bad. Over here, one Repama is coming in, but the commander isn't in that area, so that for now, uh, well... So in terms of points, we are now a heavy advantage for the packed players. We've got 
three, seven, nine, uh, eleven, no, twelve points versus nine, no, four, eight, and eleven when, when they'll take Delta. So it's going to be twelve versus eleven. Still one point advantage for the packed players. Delta is trying to attack on the left side over here. Unfortunately, he's got facing him. He's got two eighty, two T80s over here. Even if they are in a bad shape, they are still able to a res resistance, especially with one Fagot over here uh, on the flank and one Fagot and one Torkon course over here. One Leopard 1A1 is down, the other one is trying to protect the Leopard 2A4 who is pulling back in front of the BMP 1D Menace. And another ATGM going right into the sky. Over here, once Sage has moved into the middle of the map, the Uralds have been captured and Sage will try to do some harassment once more. <coughs> so not much to uh, commentate right now, the, the mortars trying to shell the anti-air over here, anti-air who has lost uh, 5 HPs, uh, one storm has been called in, really really powerful unit, 2800 meters of range, 914, it is a huge ATGM, over here 4 models 1 are called, have been called in, one Leopard 2A4 is over here, moving forward trying to snipe enemy tanks, it went up trying to snipe the T55AM, he missed the target, second shot, and 55 killed, and the Leopard is pulling back to avoid getting shot at by the T80, so for now it's really nice manage tank management by myself, yeah I know, <laughs> and here little problem, both recon squads have been killed by the T80s, so we're gonna have to call in more uh, recons, so one Sage and one Rep Famas in, in one, ju one just uh, Rep in the uh, VAP over here. Chasseur moved in to kill the UAZ to make sure it doesn't, doesn't snipe my tanks. Well, my tank, but also nice, I have only one tank. And uh, yeah, here we go, we've got a Bradley coming in over here. So it's pretty much uh, the moment of the counter-offensive for the NATO players who will try to push all their way over here. And the Pact players calling in some Malkas to try to shell the NATO position. And Pact players have uh, successfully put some uh, infantry squad over here, so that allows uh, Werner Vinhold to see quite a lot. He sees my Chasseur, he sees my Puma, my Commander over here. So for now it's pretty pretty nice. Nice position, uh, little mistake on my side, I should have put some infantry here to make sure he doesn't put some recon squads. And he's got one VPG here who allows him to see everything else. One Sturm coming in, shooting at the VAB, but the missile just misses. It's going to be Bradley versus Sturm. I see the situation, I'm going to push my Leopard 2A4 forward. The Bradley versus the Sturm, who's going to win? The Bradley seems to miss the T-80, the Sturm shoots the Bradley, but the Leopard shoots the Sturm pretty nice. The T-80 manages to hit the Leopard 2A4 on the flank, loses a lot of HPs, but the Sturm is down, and the VPZU are pulling back, they are being shelled by the mortars. Over here, T-55 trying to take out the M901, but the ATGM is better and takes out one T-55. The Chasseurs are moving forward and take out the other. So for now, it's pretty pretty good, uh, I managed to hold the line quite well. Back in the middle of the map, still no action over here, everything is more taking place over here. We've got some uh, play, uh, units amassed here trying to put some pressure, we've got 4 VSLs that have been sent in since last time we checked. And still the report to A4, A makes a bit fun. So for now it's pretty much uh, nothing going on, it's both teams are staying on their positions and trying to take uh, advantage while trying to push a a well, the enemy. The, the enemy. Uh, we, the NATO players have the advantage both on the right and the left side because they have the reinforcement areas. And Malkash starting to shoot at my read at my supplies, the motorcycle she is able to see what is happening. He doesn't see my commander, but he sees my a few of my units. Including my anti-air and my uh, and my mortars, that's pretty bad. So on hotel, we've got one T80 left over here. The anti-air is pulling back. The recon here can see my VAP, so that's pretty. That's a nice positioning of recon over here. They ca he can see my VAP, so he's just selling my offensive. Well, offensive. Well, 
yeah, more or less, offensive force with his marker, and he will be able to kill them before they are able to do any damage. Here, once more, he's shelling. One Vab is getting killed. A second one will fall. Here we go. And the Vabs are totally destroyed. Back on the left side, we've got uh, the commander moving because he was shelled by the enemy. And unfortunately, he is now out in the open. That's a small mistake by Delta. And one Torkon Kurs is coming in and he will try to snipe the commander. If he does so, it's going to be pretty, pretty hard for the NATO players on the left side of the map. And the tour is shooting. The ATGM is shot at and the commander gets shot on one hit. That's a lucky shot by the Concours. But a nice shot nonetheless. And the packed players take a huge advantage here on the left side of the map. Back on the right side, the packed players are shelling once more. It is a really, really lucky shot. They won't see in the commander, but they got a lucky shot while aiming at the flag panzer and they managed to snipe the commander. So that is pretty much the game that N1 Leopard 24 sniped over here. That, that's really pretty much the game that is really uh, changing and turning perspective. It was a really, really balanced game, but now one sniped commander here, one sniped commander here. As we could say, it, pretty lucky. Even the packed players told me, or when I to talked to them after the game, he didn't see my commander, but he got a lucky shot and sniped it. That's that's pretty nice. Well, pretty lucky for them. So we are in a. When I say we, it's the LVA team. We are in a really really bad situation. We are trying to shell the commander over here, but he it manages to pull back just in time. We have lost both our strategic advantages with both reinforcement areas, Bravo and Hotel. And added to that, we have lost our reinforcement points. So the packed players are still on 12 reinforcement points, if, if I count this commander, while we are only on 7. And even not on 7, we are on 5, because having lost both Bravo and Hotel, we have to pull back the commander on Delta on Juliet to be able to call in reinforcements. So this is a pretty bad situation. We are 500 points to 500, so it's pretty much balanced in terms of points accumulated, but... In terms of income, we are more than half behind the enemy. 12 versus 5 for now. And we have lost our strategic advantages. It's going to be pretty, pretty bad in this game. We are losing foot and everything is going from bad to worse. Uh, uh, at this point of the game, we were I, I, I honestly say we were pretty much demoralized and we started to do, well, pretty much bad things. So we could pretty well. We could base. I could basically speed things up a bit. Uh, over here, Delta trying to charge a bit in the city. He takes out a few infantry squads, but uh, the Brazil just wipes out the chasseur over here. Back on the left side, the Leopard 24 has pulled back to defend. I'm not sure what, but defend something. The commander is not there anymore to defend, so he's just trying to hold the line. Even if there's not much to hold, he could just pretty much pull back onto India. But hell, why not? If we can hold here, just hold here. On Kilo, we are still holding Kilo. That is the only sector we are really holding. Over here, I've still got a lot of units. And I decide to attack a bit with the Chasseur over here. The M1, M901 sniping the T-80 over here. So that's it. There is no heavy tank left on this side to stop an offensive. So I start attacking a bit. My Chasseur are moving forward. My Leopard 24 is sniping a few units. And the, mort the two mortars I have left are still shooting at the enemy units. On the right side, nothing to declare. Over here, we've got one URL just looking a bit and the, com the artillery being able to snipe, but the commander is moving. Two chasseurs over here trying to take out the commander, but that won't help. Well, it won't do anything. So it's pretty much game over for now uh, in this game. The pack players have been able to con take control of the forest over here. They are taking control of the building over here, sending in infantry to stop or well, to defend a bit. But I have decided to uh, to attack. So pretty much, what's going on in this game? We have lost both Hotel and Bravo, and well, that's ho losing Bravo is kind of difficult, but it's not that a problem because Delta can still send in reinforcements over here. The real problem is over here. Especially when you see that I lost the, 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 the commander by a lucky artillery shot. It's pretty demoralizing and I was kind of raging a bit in the, in, at that point. But the real problem is that the only reinforcements I can call in are all the way over here on Juliet. So by the time I call in, uh, they just retake their position and resupply everything. So I just decided to 
to keep my points for uh, when the time I could uh, recap or tell. And I just decided to attack, go through what I had, which is pretty much nothing. Uh, a couple of uh, infantry squads, Chasseur and Rep, one Leopard 2A4, an ATGM squad, shooting at the T80, hitting the T80, and killing the T80. God damn it, I got it. <laughs> but unfortunately, ME17, Concours, Osa AKM, infantry has got pretty much everything to stop me. It's going to be pretty, pretty hard. I'm sending in my, my Cobras here to take out the infantry so that my Leopard 2A4 can move forward. Unfortunately, I'm not sure three gazelles, or three, sorry, Cobras are enough to take out all the infantry squads. I'm just stunning them and not taking them out. Potosel she moving forward. My Leopard is still alive. My, gaz my Cobras are getting killed by the Osa AKM. Two of them are killed. My mortars are shooting but aren't dealing enough damage to the enemy units. Everything is circling down the drain. Back over here, the commander has been one more commander has been called onto India to allow us to regain a bit of income. We are now at 6-7 versus 12, so a bit above half the enemy's income. And uh, well, I uh, well now the problem is in this game is the thing that I say every time I commentate a an economy game is that we have 600 points and we should spend them. Uh, I am basically doing the mistake that uh, I say people shouldn't do in an economy game. Problem is, why do I do this mistake is because I am playing on the right side and I have no reinforcement sector on the right side. So basically what's happening is that we are pretty much undecided and don't take any decision. We don't really know what to do. Um, the, big, the best thing we should have done should have put this commander on a hotel. Uh, to cap hotel and uh, call in a lot of reinforcements with my 400 points and do a big offensive here especially when you look at the enemy position he's got pretty much nothing he's got a few infantry squads and then that's nothing that's all he's got one ATGM and the rest is anti-air artillery he's got nothing 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 to stop a light vehicle or tank uh, charge so I could have done a lot of damage over here but I don't control hotel. The packed troops are blocking the commander here from coming in without being shot. So it's pretty much, uh, we've pretty much lost the right hand side of the map. On the left side, I could have called in units, but I haven't done it. Pretty much uh, because I don't really know what's going on over here. I'm concentrating on my right side, so I don't want to spend stupid points over there. And that's quite kind of ironic when you're gonna, when you're going to see what I'm going to spend it on uh, later on in the game. So it's 799 versus 1,000 points. We are still pretty much in the game in terms of points, but it's pretty much game over because 28 minutes to go. They are way ahead of us in terms of income and in terms of art control. It's the same thing. Even if they haven't capped Hotel or Bravo, which uh, I'm wondering why, it's pretty, it's pretty weird to be honest. But they are still pretty much ahead of us and it's uh, GG. They could have just sent in the Commander Alpha onto Bravo, sent in reinforcements here. And with the... who is playing here? Binks? And with Binks... Uh, well, yeah, Binks and a bit of Shifu, I guess. He could have, they could have sent a few units over here and totally crushed everything we could have sent at them. Delta has very few points, Crotu also, I would have been the only player capable of stopping them. And well, I'm already losing my right flank. I'm losing my last Chasseur squad over here. I've only got one Leopard 2A4 here to stop everything coming at me. One Leopard held by one Recon Infantry squad. I've got no anti-air whatsoever, no, uh, no ATGM, nothing. I've got one Heavy Tank and one Recon squad and that's pretty much it. So I've lost the right side of the map. I've lost it and on the left side there is pretty much nothing left so I'm going to speed things up a bit uh, it's really a nice game and well it's it's still a bit frustrating to lose such a game when it's such it, it was a really really nice game playing uh, I know Delta was raging a bit because he lost a few times to ATGMs and he hates that but on my side it was a really really nice game moving tax, uh, tanks up and up and down the um, the hills doing nice attacks, counter attacks, nice moves with ATGMs, artillery, mortars, everything and so on. But after playing like 20 minutes with such awesome uh, management and tension and losing because you, you got a lucky sniping of commander, it's pretty much frustrating. But well, that's the game and it's uh, part of its flaws in my opinion, so... 
And unfortunately, I won't be able to say it'll be better in WAB because they are still co well, keeping the commander style gameplay. So, uh, I am totally losing over here. Still got one Leopard 2A4 to hold, but the packed players don't really have don't really have to attack I mean they've got the map control they just have to send in a one commander and a few defense units here I won't be able to counter attack anyway uh, on kilo we are still holding it but that's pretty much it and over here Delta is trying an offensive with a few Vizels, the Zippo, Mord, uh, Rolandu I'm not even sure he wants to attack he just wants to defend probably he's already out of fuel over here he's, he's gonna need to resupply his units uh, and yeah, you know, now you see what I'm spending my points on. It's pretty dumb. But hell, when you're in a game like this, you're frustrated by the way you are losing. It's not because we're losing, it's because the way we are losing. Delta was really raging. I'm starting to rage after the, the commander loss over here. <laughs> so it's pretty much, oh damn it, I'm just, fuck it, I'm gonna send helicopters and destroy the hell out of them. But unfortunately, I call in helicopters, and uh, as you will see, I'm gonna send them. Uh, on the wrong side. We could have sent them over here, just fly above the infantry and destroy the commander here, commander here, he's got nothing to stop us. But, of course, lucky as I am, I've taken this decision to attack Charlie and it's pretty much defended with OCIKM, the uh, HMG on the tanks, the uh, Spot the Konazi here, the Scots with infantry over here, so it pretty much you're gonna get killed uh, quite quickly, the Gazelles and Cobras charging in, Dumb strategy, but hey, what do you expect? <laughs> Over here, we're totally, um, totally overrun. The Leopard is his last line of defense. Also, he's gonna get killed, but hey, we have already lost. We are coming in, killing the anti air, killing the B, not even the air, killing the BMP 2T, trying to take out the BRDF to you, but with eight Spider Connector squads, we are totally slaughtered. And the BRDM to you is just uh, losing one HP in the story, and I just surrender. Yeah, I know it's not really nice to surrender like that, but it's pretty much game over. We can't do anything. We've got no. I've got no points left. We've got no points left. Uh, they've got a hell of a lot of um, points in reserve to stop any kind of counter attack, and they are totally screwing us in terms of income. So we just abandon. Uh, GG for no unit. They are the clash of the clan winners. And honestly, it was a very, very nice, it was an awesome game uh, up to the point where uh, I got sniped my commander. That's my personal point of view. Delta, I would, would, would say that it was a good game until he got sniped his leopards by ATGMs and then his commander. But I, I, I mean, the biggest, the biggest thing I could say in this game is the, 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 the commander lucky sniping. But that's part of the game and uh, they did it well. Good play by the no units, and well, that's it. Uh, as you can see, command points wise, well, they had a better income than us. Uh, always one point ahead, not much, but then we lost two commanders, so they were twice, they had twice the income as that we had, so that's pretty much, uh, that's, that's as it, that says it all. And then in terms of kill, pretty much balanced. Uh, the big difference here is that when we surrendered, we gave them all our remaining points. But all in all, I think it was pretty much balanced and uh, really, really tough and interesting game. Thanks for the game to the Nogunits. Thank you all for watching it and see you next time.